yo welcome back to paradise noir family thank you for tuning in let's get into this video on my camera what he there was a guy at church who was on my camera what he regularly would use but he would use that to access the spiritual world illegally they brought me into this meeting with him and he started describing me a spiritual being that he would encounter being on these things and he said have you seen that and i looked behind him and then there was that spiritual being that was not of the lord and and that spiritual being was freaking out because I could see him. And so I told him, I said, I'm telling you right now, I said, you're opening yourself up illegally to the spiritual world using these things. I said, the way that we access the spiritual world correctly has to be through the spirit. But psychedelics and all that stuff is coming through the back door and you open yourself up to far greater problems that way. You end up getting a spiritual being you have no business talking to because spiritual beings are nosy. Now demons are silly. Other spiritual beings, they're nosy they want to know what you know especially if your sons because you know things in, about god that they may not know they get from watching there was a guy at church okay family with that being said let's do it on my camera what he there was a guy at church who was on my camera what he regularly would use but he would use that to okay so there's a guy at church he can't remember what he's on so he's telling us that he's talking to somebody sounds like to me that it's on something then he says i don't know what he regularly uses so i'm a little confused right there it sounds like he's talking to somebody at church that is high or on a trip and then he says regularly uses as if he's possibly microdosing okay we can't get these two things confused family you don't want to get things confused okay but he would use that to access the spiritual realm illegally they brought me into family that's absolutely ridiculous that is that man's own personal philosophy uh, he has absolutely zero proof of that. Uh, it just sounds, uh, and it sounds ridiculous. He used it to uh, <laughs> enter the spiritual world illegally. What is he? Is he the spiritual police? Like, c careful family, careful. We have to stop believing things that make absolutely no sense. Let us continue brought me into this meeting with him and he started describing me a spiritual being that he would encounter being on these things and he said have you seen that and i looked behind him and then there was that spiritual being that was not of the lord and that's family come on knock it off so the guy is explaining to him uh something that he's seeing while he's taking a trip that he's assuming is a spiritual being he's asking this guy have you seen that so to me that sounds like maybe this guy has also taken his own trips he's also had his own experience with psychedelics why else would the guy be asking him have you seen that like this type because there are different types of different beings or things that people say everybody is unique and different therefore most people's trips are different however I'm sure there are some similarities do your research on your own however family as far as him uh, then seeing the being he looks up okay he all of a sudden after the guy didn't describe the being he looks up and sees the being behind him and he said the being and i'm not saying that the guy is not seeing something he's not seeing a being there mind you family there are human people with blood and their hearts pumping uh through you know pumping their blood through their veins walking this earth who have capabilities to see through that veil however he ain't one of them Okay, that takes a lot of practice, family. And it takes you not being in the circular world, family. It, it really doesn't. I, I, I mean, come on. Okay, so he looks up and he sees a, a spiritual being that is not of the Lord. So that is leading us to assume that he has seen spiritual beings that are of the Lord. Well, can you tell us what they look like, sir? What are those beings? Family, stop believing things that don't make sense. Stop believing this. Okay, come on. Let's continue.
behind him and then there was that spiritual being that was not of the Lord and that spiritual being was freaking out because I could see him and so I told him I said I'm telling you right now I said you're opening yourself up illegally to the spiritual world using these things I said the once again family the gentleman is referring to his own philosophy he is not the spiritual police who is he to say that you're opening yourself up to anything illegally okay i do believe there is truth however to something that he said about opening yourself up Okay, we do have to be careful about opening ourselves up to just about anything these days, family. Anything. You got to be careful uh, opening yourself up to some of the television programs that are readily available for us to watch. So he's not seeing anything profound right there. He's really not. Yourself up illegally to the spiritual world using these things. I said the way that we access the spiritual world correctly has to be through the spirit. But psychedelics and all. Once again, family, um, I think he's taking liberty. Um, some might be out there that says, well, uh, he's getting his uh, this information from the Bible is biblical about uh, ways to access the spirit well or whatnot. But still, family, at the end of the day, that would still be uh, an opinion, uh, perhaps an opinion of dogma, but still an opinion. All that stuff is coming through the back door and you open yourself up to far greater problems that way you end up getting okay family so the spiritual police here says taking psychedelics uh you're taking a shortcut you're coming through the back door so he's not saying for you not to mess with the spirit world he's just saying that you need to do it legally <laughs> You need to you need to do it legally. OK, you can't take a shortcut with psychedelics. You know, you got to do the hard work. You got to you got to do your shadow work. OK, <laughs> there's no shortcuts into the spirit world. And as far as these problems he's talking about, he says you'll have far greater problems if you come through the back door. So that's to say that um, making contact with the spirit world in itself is uh, going to bring problems. But if you go through the back door, family, you're going to have far greater problems, far greater end up getting a spiritual being you have no business talking to because spiritual beings are nosy now demons are silly other spiritual nonsense family if you're talking to it you're supposed to be talking to it and family come on um he's using the word demon which is a bit archaic and old but if there's a such thing as a demon any type of literature or just thinking to yourself uh the word demon what readily comes to your mind uh a silly stupid fumbling creature no everything that literature and research we have that talks about demons uh tells us that demons if there's a such thing as a daemon is cunning uh, is cunning and clever and is all about that trickery okay so he has no idea what he's talking about honestly family it just sounds like he's going round and round in silly ass circles just trying to sound smart okay family let's continue and get this over with silly other spiritual beings they're nosy they want to know what you know especially if you're sons because you know things about God that they may not know they get from watching there was a guy a Okay, family, so spiritual police here has what I like to call some spiritual theory truths. Okay, it's things that you really can't prove. However, there could be thousands of people who have come to these same spiritual truth theories on their own in their hearts you might have had a moment where you were watching or listening to something or hearing someone speak and you say to yourself hey yes i believe that i agree with that i have thought that my whole entire life family everything around you right now including yourself is vibrating everything is moving okay however because we're in a 3d spectrum 
you can't see it, but it is yet it is happening. It's been proven it is happening. Uh, millions upon millions of us believe in a higher power of some sort or another, yet we've never seen it. We've never seen anything. With that being said, family, he has some spiritual truthisms going on right there. There are energetic beings, as he said, you know, they want to know what you know. They're nosy. Well, because we are here in the flesh, okay, and we have that divine light, it is divine, beautiful, beautiful, don't even describe it, family. It doesn't define the light of the divine that is within most of us. Not all of us, don't get it twisted. That beautiful light, they can't feel it. This is one of my theories, and this could be going out in left field, what have you. One of my theories is that's one of the reasons why we had all of those cases of aliens and all these things, animals and things being dissected over throughout throughout history actually throughout history i believe that they were uh, looking for our soul now people say studying us but what would a, re a species like that <laughs> need to do with studying us if not for something spiritual mind you family this this is spiritual warfare that is happening right now so when he says nosy uh, they want to know what you know he has a point you know they can't feel they can only watch they can only observe you know it's no different from it being a storm and the lights have went out and it's dark and cold think about the people down there in Texas it was cold for weeks, ice and stuff everywhere. Now, if you think it's snow and ice everywhere, it's cold, you cold, you wet, you hungry, and there's two people on your block. The lights are on. It looks warm. I smell steak. <laughs> I smell some beans and rice cooking. <laughs> Come on, family. They're no different. What are you going to do? You probably would ask nicely first. Hey, neighbor. Hey, it's cold out here. Ooh, shit. It feel good in this motherfucker. Hey, hey, y'all. Come on in. Come on, come on. We, hey, so, uh, damn, what y'all eating? Damn, it's smoking. Uh, you're going to ice nicely first. And eventually, as things get worse and worse and time goes on, it, people, the whole neighborhood will come together and force their way in on the warmth and the light and the food and they will try and take it by any means necessary and these energetic beings are no different the ones he's talking about because you are the sons and daughters of a divine light that in a, in a little piece of that is in you and they want it okay so he does have a spiritual truthism right there. Okay, family. However, with that being, I'm sorry, I made that part long. Let me get to the point. <laughs> sorry, family. But the point of the video is, please do not let this uh, spiritual, spooky, scary, archaic rhetoric uh, stop you from researching and finding out about <clears throat> the benefits of psychedelics on your own what he's talking about is just one side of psychedelics the side that side is more experimental family It's experimental you know it's like marijuana um it's experimental but also like marijuana psychedelics are medicinal so there's another <clears throat> And there's another side to psychedelics that is medicinal 
and that is very beneficial where you don't get high you're not getting high and I think this is where people are lacking in their research they're not doing enough research on their own family you have to do your own research um, micro dosing uh, with psychedelics can uh, really help you to focus uh, amongst other things that's just one thing you know what I'm saying especially when you add things to it like um, prayer meditation daily affirmations drinking lots of water sunshine fruit and veggies exercise and or even going to church and all these things um, it can even people with um, various conditions family let me please uh, say to anyone out there if you if you're thinking of trying something like this but um, this type of rhetoric this old type of archaic rhetoric is stopping you from it please don't let this hold you up please don't let these things scare you away okay um, taking a small dose of these things uh, is not you're not going to be opening yourself up to, <laughs> I, I can't I can't family knock it off but but uh, the video has been long enough. So with that being said, family, please do your research when it comes to um, using psychedelics for medicinal purposes. It's mainly like micro dosing. Uh, perhaps at some other time I will share uh, my personal own micro dosing uh, journey with you guys. However, not right now. So, uh, family, with that being said, thank you for tuning in. If you got anything from the content from the big video, please hit that subscribe button. That's right. Give your girl an energetic talking about all these energetic beings and <laughs> somebody's watching me. <laughs> I ain't got no privacy. Ooh. I always feel like somebody's watching me. Hey, go hit that subscribe button and follow Kimmy and everybody out there. Stay blessed.